Hi, this is Loopline, and this is part two of the how to scrape competitor backlinks video. In the first video I showed you how to scrape all the backlinks and how to verify links with the link checker, um, but that does return some false positives, of course. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the page scanner add-on to eliminate that and to more accurately get the list of backlinks from the list that you scrape. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a footprint in the page scanner add-on, which is um, page scanner add-on is just a free add-on you can install by going to add-ons, show available add-ons, and then installing it. Once you have it up, the way it works is you do edit footprints and you paste in a footprint right here. I'm just going to call it test, and then you hit add entry and hit name it, and then right there it is, and then you tick it off. And when you load in your list and hit start it will use that footprint to validate. So let's go through it here. What I did was I made a merge file to make this simple uh, because there's a few different variations that we can use for this. So basically what we're going to use is the href equals um, and then the quote and then the website. But we're going to use the website with and without the www and then there's some websites that use malformatted HTML such as uh, only one quote or no quote at all uh, and so I just made a merge file that compensates for all of those and the way it would work is we're going to punch in our doma domain and then we're just going to hit merge and we're going to choose the merge file and it'll look like this and so once we have those we're just going to copy those and we're going to put those in the page scanner add-on. So we're going to edit footprints, make a new footprint, and I'm going to call it scrape box fac, and uncheck this here. So only that one is checked. And then I'm going to close that, and then let me load up a list of URLs here. And so what I did was I just loaded in the list of URLs that we scraped in the first video, which would have been with a footprint like this, where we did scrapeboxfact.com and then the minus the site the, out there. So let's go ahead and hit start here and let it run. And as it goes through here, we can see whenever it finds it, it will show the name of the footprint here. So if you had multiple sites, for instance, you could, uh, or multiple different footprints you want to search for at once, you can do that, of course, but in this case, we're only looking for backlinks from one particular site. So we can see that it'll show it here as the result, and then as we get on through here, we can see different ones might be an, an error, or it's still reading it, and when it's done, obviously, when it doesn't show it here, these are not found, or error. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and abort this, and then we can see we can export the results, and save those off into a file and just um, stick them here real quick. So I went ahead and exported them here in a new folder and what it does is it gives you the ones with error, not found, and then found. If we open it up then we can see various places where the, our link would be found at. And that is how you can use the page scanner add-on to more accurately qualify your links. Uh, of course this still may not be 1000% positive because you know anybody could make a website that has that in there um, and you might miss a few links this way but this is as accurate as you can get to finding the live links from your competitors or from your own site and that is how you can use the merge file and the page scanner add-on and scrapebox to find your competitors backlinks and your own backlinks